And the cycling routes that we're going to launch today will cater for cyclists with all levels of experience as the loops vary in distance from 10, 11 kilometres suitable for families up to a 7, 67 kilometre loop for the more experienced cyclists. The loops take cyclists along by the lake and through our many villages and open countryside. All routes are clearly marked by special cycling signage showing the route number along with 11 map boards and cycling racks which are located in the towns and villages along the route, one of which we'll be unveiling here today. In the current economic climate, we need to explore every opportunity to bring people and various agencies together to see how, ca how we can develop jobs and income in this area. As a form of, of cycling, or a, sorry, as a form of tourism, cycling leaves a bigger spend in an area than any other form of tourism. Cyclists spend their money in the locality on accommodation, food and leisure. And this is a golden opportunity for our tourism providers to build on this market. Currently more than 100,000 overseas visitors participate in cycling holidays in Ireland. And this generates 78 million in annual revenue. We are aiming to significantly grow these numbers in this area. But these routes are not just for overseas visitors, they can also be used by our local community and will generate local revenue for businesses in Nina and along the routes. So I urge all of you to get up on your bikes and to experience these routes, which for the most part are along the shores of Loch Derg. They bring you through some of, of the area's prettiest villages and harbours, as well as to the new eco-village in Clock Jordan. I'm delighted to see that there are shorter loops within the main cycle routes, as it provides an opportunity for cyclists of all levels to take to the roads. Cycling also has the added benefits in that it provides for stronger communities, as it provides for reg regular interaction between those out walking and cycling in our neighbourhoods and towns and village centres. And of course cycling is also a non-pollutant means of transport. I would like to congratulate all involved in this project. It has brought to fruition to the local cycling to a local cyclist bringing a proposal, and we mentioned Michael already, to, to, a, to a local representative and the relevant agencies, and all working together to achieve this common goal. The Mehal approach, and you all know what the Mehal is, for neighbours come together and, 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 and progress some aspect of our lives. The Mehal approach is very much of the modern way of working, and something that is being driven by the county development board throughout the country. This venture being launched today is a prime example of what can be achieved through the collaborative approach. I look forward to many more such ventures. Finally, I would like to congratulate all involved, wish the venture every success, and hope that you all have a very enjoyable day cycling. Off on your bikes now, lads. <laughs> I don't know. People participating in sport, continuing through life, add 14 years onto their healthy life. Not longevity, but 14 years onto health and that's hugely important. In this country last year we spent 600 million to your health budget which is over 16 billion, we spent 600 million on diabetes 70 percent of which is totally eradicable by activity and by nutrition. What you're doing here is tremendously beneficial. This area, this lake 32 miles long from Portumna to Terry Glass to Dubonier to Gary Candy down to Killaloo on the east side of this lake is probably the greatest tourist attraction we have and probably the least developed. And this participation, this work here, in yours to the future, to the benefit of the community and to tourism. On behalf of Shan Development Company, uh, I would like to welcome you all here today to the launch of the North Tip Cycling Home. We're very pleased, we're actually delighted to be part of the partnership here, uh, which has resulted in the completion of what we believe is an important tourism project for this area and for the region. It's a good example as well of how cooperation can, in a fairly condensed time frame, produce very significant results. We have a program, a major project, we call it the Shannon Regional Trails Program, Flan Quilligan heads it up, and these particular hubs are part and parcel of that. It's a, it's a project that's trying to develop new cycling trails, walking trails, water-based trails across the region to a very high standard. Now here we go. Hey! Right on. 